Hi, I'm Elizabeth Coe, and I'm the program director for our undergraduate and master's programs in human physiology. I'm here today to tell you more about the programs. So the human physiology programs um, are housed within Sargent College. And Sargent is a small college, really intimate feeling amongst the faculty and the students. Um, our building is right, right here. Uh, and I can't tell you how often walking the halls I run into my students. Um, it has this very um, intimate family feel in this small college. At the same time, we are housed within Boston University, um, a large undergraduate campus with about 16,000 undergraduate students and lots of opportunities and clubs and social engagements uh, for our students. And we, of course, are within the vibrant city of Boston. And just across the river over here, you can see um, Cambridge, the kind of world leader in biotechnology. So we have a very um, kind of small and close-knit community uh, within a land of a ton of opportunity. So our human physiology uh, majors are well prepared for clinical careers as well as careers in uh, research. So some of the things that our students will end up doing, um, medical school, physician's assistant, nurse practitioner, a lot of them go into biotech and clinical research. Uh, we have some of our students go to exercise physiology. Um, we prepare you quite well for a re uh, um, career in science writing. Some of our students are so inspired by their education at BU that they go on into fields of education. And we have a really intimate connection to the um, public health field. So these are all places where our graduates tend to head to um, when they're ready to leave us. Our curriculum is designed to be a strong preparation both for a clinical career as well as um, for a research career. Uh, and so we actually build into the curriculum all of the kind of medical school requirements and the MCAT um, preparation requirements. So this means that if you are a human physiology major, there's no need to ever declare yourself as pre-med or make that decision before you're ready. Uh, we will be preparing you for that all along, but also at the same time, making sure that you're well prepared for research career. As you can see, some of our coursework kind of laid out here, of course, each student does take their own path. Uh, this is just kind of a, a typical um, way to make their way through the curriculum. A few years ago, BU as a whole adopted a new general education um, curriculum called the BU Hub after the nickname for Boston. Uh, and this um, gen ed curriculum is designed to really kind of um, build skills, problem solving and, um, and critical thinking, communication skills uh, that are important for 21st century careers. So um, as an undergraduate program within BU, we also um, require our students to follow the hub. Uh, a lot of these requirements are built into our curriculum. Um, and so students um, really have the opportunity to take some electives outside of the program, um, but aren't required to take very many courses that, that aren't part of our science offerings. So I made a list of questions that typically would come up during these open houses. So lots of times people want to know how many undergraduates are in our program. Um, our program is growing consistently uh, and we currently have 410 um, undergraduate human physiology majors. Um, at large universities, oftentimes students don't get a lot of one-on-one um, -on -one time or um, you know, FaceTime with their faculty because of a lot of the courses are taught by graduate students. That's not the case within our program. Uh, faculty teach all of our classes. Um, our typical classes will um, be larger in the early years and kind of winnow away to smaller classes later on. So the classes range in size from five, uh, 15 to 100 students. So what sets our program apart? Um, one of the things that I really love about our curriculum is it's really focused on humans. Uh, so a biology major, for example, is gonna take a lot of classes. Uh, even their upper division classes are gonna be focused on a variety of different animals um, and or ecosystems. Um, our cor courses, of course, are all health focused, all human focused, um, while still being um, you know, rigorous science curriculum. Uh, and we actually require all of our students to either do a clinical or a research internship program. One of the things that I think sets BU apart um, is the ample opportunities for study abroad. So um, our students are um, 
given opportunities to study abroad kind of both within their sophomore year or within their senior year where there's other opportunities um, kind of throughout their education. So lots of our science students here at BU uh, take a um, regular sophomore based curriculum taught by BU professors, but done abroad. So Grenoble, Dresden, Madrid, um, another option is to study abroad in your senior year um, and fulfill your internship at that time. So we have sites in Auckland, London, Sydney, and Dublin. Um, and then BU has uh, internships around the globe um, where students can just take focus on their hub electives during that time when they're away and return to their science curriculum when they get back. Uh, we also here in Sargent have a unique set of international service learning programs that are separate from study abroad. So let me talk about those a little bit. So service learning is a shorter trip um, that is done with a small group of students, um, you know, around 70 to 80 students, as well as four faculty members. Um, we have sites um, around the world, um, and these are exclusively opportunities for Sargent students. Uh, there are programs, um, I provided a link uh, for you at the bottom here, I've seen it, shown you a picture of one of our students um, in a uh, service learning trip to Peru a few years ago. Um, these are really wonderful opportunities to work within a community uh, in another uh, country while under the kind of professional um, instruction uh, and uh, mentorship of our faculty members. Another thing that I think really sets our program apart is the internship. Uh, so we have uh, internship sites um, that are at places like um, Mass General Hospital, Massachusetts Eye and Ear, uh, the Shapiro Cardiovascular Center, um, Boston Medical Center, um, as well as a, ver a variety of different research sites. Uh, so this is replacement for one course, so it's four credits and students um, spend doing professional learning uh, in um, in these sites. So um, all of our uh, majors are required to do at least one semester, but some of our placement sites will require students to be there for a full year um, because they're really receiving a lot of pre-professional training. Um, oftentimes students will often just elect to do a second internship in a, a second semester later on. One of the things that I think is really um, like beautiful and valuable about this internship program is the students are really building their resume while they're still in college. Uh, so they aren't just taking another class where they're studying for exams, but they are getting real experience working with doctors, working with researchers, um, learning how to analyze data. Um, and so these are really valuable experiences um, while they're getting job training still within um, their undergraduate career. We have research opportunities both within our program and outside of our program uh, for students to engage in research. There's a variety of ways that they can do this. It can be part of their work study. Um, oftentimes students will do research for credit and we have hub electives uh, or hub credits built in uh, to research for credit. Research can also be um, a option instead of the internship program. Um, so there's a lot of different ways for students to engage. Uh, these are four of our outstanding faculty uh, and their labs. And then we also have affiliated faculty in a variety of institutions outside of our program uh, at, for example, Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, the BU School of Medicine, um, within our own um, program for physical therapy within Sargent, um, and the United States Army Research Institute of Environmental Medicine. So a lot of different research opportunities and a lot of different ways that students can engage in research uh, while doing their undergraduate learning. We also have two five-year programs. So after the first two years of their undergraduate program, students are doing well, they're interested in earning a master's. So instead of a two-year master's program, which um, could cost more money, we can roll um, a fifth year by combining some of the coursework in um, the senior year. Uh, so students still graduate at the end of their four years with their bachelor's degree, but they're already working on their um, graduate curriculum. They do one more year um, in the master's program, ending with a master's thesis. Uh, so uh, a master's in human physiology is going to really prepare students for uh, research or clinical careers, kind of um, add to their uh, uh, med school applications, their PA school applications, um, and provide kind of a, a strong background by which they might launch a PhD. We also have a five-year um, master's in public health program. It works very similarly to strong years in the beginning. Students can then apply and be admitted to the program. Um, again, they start their graduate coursework in their senior year, earning their bachelor's degree, uh, and then moving on to their master's in that fifth year. 
So some more questions that sometimes come up. Um, a lot of times um, our major looks pretty similar in curriculum to the biology major, so what sets it apart? Uh, the two things here, one is that our, our coursework is really focused on, on humans and human health, uh, and the other thing that's in our curriculum um, that is unique is that um, internship um, that's really supported by faculty um, and give the students some, some job training while they are still um, doing their undergrad. The other big thing is, is that our human physiology major is housed within the small college of um, Sargent. Biology majors are within the much larger college of arts and sciences, both kind of under the umbrella of BU. So students often wonder, you know, if they will be prepared for graduate school, um, if they go through the human physiology curriculum. Absolutely. So we, we really craft our curriculum with both the, the dual outcomes of clinical careers and research careers in mind, trying to give students every opportunity to explore both of those avenues um, prior to graduation so they know where they would like to go um, once they receive that diploma. Uh, we have a lot of internal transfers both in and out of the program, a lot of internal transfers into our program. Our program is growing steadily um, by, um, by transfer every year, um, but just transferring um, within other programs within Sargent or other programs with B, within BU is fairly easy. We also run a minor, um, so there's information for that on the website. Um, so if the students were interested in a different program, uh, they could still get some of the benefits of our program through a minor. And our internships are required. Uh, we do consider it to be really important that our students graduate not just with the foundation of knowledge, but some of those real life skills that are going to launch them into success within their careers. So we do, we do require that, that internship. And that is um, all I have for you guys today. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me with any questions. Um, my name and email address are on the website. Uh, and I can't wait to welcome you to Boston University and the Human Physiology Program.